Hi everybody! I'm back and it's time for another tasting. I like found a theme of the th uh, some of the things I got from previous boxes. So this will be a tasting from several previous boxes and the theme is candy. So I found several of the uh, candies and jellies and small packaged things, sweets. And I'm going to do a big tasting today. So we have a few th things to taste actually. Let's get going. No need to waste. I want candy. You probably want to see candy, I hope. Anyways, let's get going. So the first candy I'm going to be trying today is from the November box. That's a long time ago. I still got things left in the November box. That's a bit disturbing. So what we're trying out from this box is this pretty yellow little uh, ca wrapped candy. Because it's a bit crumble, it looks like uh, toxic or something like that. Cheery candy. And it says on it, new pumpkin soft candy. So it's soft candy. In the information letter, it says traditional pumpkin soft candy. Let's try it. I can't get it out. Oh, I love it. Silver paper. Mm. So inside we got this little thing. So you can obviously see it's been a bit mushed and so on, but that's how you get soft candy. And it's really yellow. It looks almost like it should be lemon flavored, but it got small spots of orange in it. So let's try this. Oh, it's harder than. Uh, not very soft. <laughs> I'm determined to... Oh yeah, guys. This is gonna stick to my teeth. Not my teeth, my teeth. Mmm. Very soft, round, creamy flavor. But still that fruity. Hint, because of the pumpkin. Pumpkins are kind of creamy in their taste. And still got that fruity hint. It's not like pumpkin pumpkin flavor, but you can feel the pumpkin flavor. And it's sweet, like some kind of toffee. It reminds me of a Swedish candy called Gred Cola, which is cream based. It tastes, tastes a bit like that. It's really, really delicious. I'm gonna save the rest for later, <coughs> for later because it takes some time to chew. It's very sticky. <laughs> Or maybe it's because it's really hot today and I'm a bit sweaty. I don't know, but it's really delicious. If you come across them, I really suggest you try them. It's really worth the try. Even if you're not a super, super big fan of pumpkin flavor, it's not that prominent. So I try it. I liked it. It was delicious. Uh, next up is actually something I've had before. Bio. And I actually bought this in one of the Asian stores in Sweden. These are like milk candies. And I don't know if they're old, but I've had similar candies to these when I lived in Korea. And I love the flavor. It's nutty and milky. And it's called Biofresh Milk Candy. And it's also a chewy candy, even though it almost looks like a cough drop. But I will show you. Let's open this. I don't want to drop it. So you look at it, it looks almost to be hard, doesn't it? Like it's a hard piece of, and it feels kind of hard too if you press it, press on it. It's really soft when you bite into it. And it's really delicious. And it has this really milky flavor, which I connect to Korea in some way. And it's really delicious, one of my favorites. I bought a whole bag of them because they come in a big bag, but they're pack packed like these, the small ones. So perfect to put in your bag when you're going to school or anything. But they're delicious. They're kind of nutty flavor, but mostly just soft. And it's like a little cloud in your mouth because the candy itself is very, very soft and silky. 
when you have it in your mouth. So, hmm, this is one of my favorite candies. I really like it. Next up is this. If you can see this, this is cinnamon candy. It says on it. And this, I believe, is a hard candy. I've had cinnamon candies before, and usually they're hard, like I would, you're supposed to suck on them and let them melt in your mouth. Okay, this, this brings back memories. This reminds me of a place we used to be uh, visit when we lived in Korea, called Soul Club. And I think they had these kind of candies, and they're like, type of candies when I was a kid they were kind of strong but you ate them because they were candies and you kind of liked them but you kind of also didn't like them you wanted something else but you still ate them yeah I'm a little hard if you wonder no biting and they taste a lot of cinnamon like the cinnamon and sweet of course so it's like sugar and cinnamon. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I was trying to be quick and it backfired. But it's a kind of very bossy flavor cinnamon flavor and I think I enjoy this more as an adult than I did as a child but then again I like cinnamon but uh, I know pe some people have trouble with cinnamon and spe especially strong cinnamon flavor somewhere in the back of my head I have this feeling that this flavor gets really strong and it's like a bit stingy if you had a lot of cinnamon or try the cinnamon challenge or whatever you know that cinnamon is kind of strong actually and I have a feeling that I sort of remember this being more like really good when you have a sore throat and want to clear up and it's kind of strong and you know when you get a <sighs> that kind of candy. So I think I have to get a bit into it so I'm coming back in a minute. Yeah, now I'm getting the bit a bit stronger flavor, more spicy cinnamon flavor. Mm, but it comes and goes. But these, I would use them easily as cold medicine or medicine and medicine to help if I have a cold or sore throat. I think that's how we did it. Not as oh, I'm gonna have a candy for my TV show, watching K dramas and eating cin eating cin cinnamon candy. I don't think so, but that's my opinion. I really like it and I would like to have some as a backup for when I get sick and for the winter time as well. It kind of tastes like a cinnamon bun. I'm gonna relieve you of me sucking on this candy for an hour or so and go on with the next one. So therefore I spit it out. Not because it's disgusting, I'm gonna save that for later and that's disgusting. What we're trying ne next is this, which is a red, uh, Korean red ginseng jelly. This is outside my comfort zone in some way. So I'm not very familiar, familiar, familiar with ginseng. And I can have a hard time with jellies. That's not my favorite. It depends on the consistency. So this could be interesting and since it's ginseng, I, in my head I kind of think it's like herbal medicine tasting maybe, but I've never tried it so I'm not gonna say anything. So let's try this. I'm a bit nervous and kind of excited. <sighs> oh, it looks like those marmalade candies, can you see? It's covered in sugar, it's squishy. And it's kind of the consistency I usually don't like. I don't like uh, marmalade uh, bowls or whatever they're called. Not my thing. Oh, it smells kind of like 
Oh, it smells like some kind of root vegetable. <laughs> yes, ginseng is a kind of root vegetable, so... But kind of like... Way? Sweet? What it's called? You know? Yeah. And I like that, though. A lot. Yeah. It will be interesting. Come back. Consistency was better than I thought. The flavor is very earthy. Some, in some way, kind of in the same as I would categorize it with the cinnamon candy. It's earthy. Not my favorite flavor, I must say. For once, I will say this is not something I'm very fond of. I'm still eating it. But I have to describe it in some way. I've had worse worse but much much worse but it's just not my thing i could eat it if i felt it had health benefits but it's still very sweet covered in sugar and i feel that the sugar might take away <laughs> most of the benefits you get from it i don't know what's there i would want some kind of like fresh kick to it like citrus or something would be nice yeah i guess it smells it smells it tastes like ginseng red ginseng I'm gonna leave the rest of this for maybe another time. Maybe. I'm still for trying it, so if you get a chance, try it. And it sticks in your teeth. So, we're on the last piece of candy. And this is <clears throat> the one I said looked like almost like chocolate truffles or what is the Swedish chocolate It's just soy candy. And I've I think, what did it say on the paper? It said bean candy, so I guess it's some kind of soy bean candy. It smells very nutty, which I usually think soybeans do if they're roasted. Ooh. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like softer, but it seems like a hard candy. And I think I'm getting old because I think like, ooh, this reminds me of something. I don't know what. It smells really nice, like roasted nuts or beans, like snacks. And I wonder what's on the outside, if it's sugar or salt. Sugar. So let's try this. Yeah, it's hard. But it's a bit uncomfortable to suck on because of the sugar. It kind of scratches my mouth top roof the roof of my mouth it hurts a bit I put it in my cheek but that looks disgusting looks yeah mm, weird not doing that no oh, sorry <laughs> that was a bad idea I want to get past the sugar it feels like a hedgehog in my mouth Feels like the sugar part won't uh, um, come off the ball, but the ball is slowly melting in between the sugar parts. So it feels like the sugar things are getting pointier. But that might be my imagination. <laughs> I still haven't focused on the taste of it because I'm so obs obs obsessed with how I'm supposed to eat it. Not not biting. Well. Not working. Most of the sugar was gone, or at least it's smoother now, so it won't hurt my mouth. I like this. Like a nutty hard candy. I just wish they didn't have the sugar on it, because that kind of ruins the start of the candy eating experience. And it makes me lit. But it's really delicious. It's hard to describe or determine the taste, but I would say it's kind of nutty. Maybe a bit of creamy milky thing but very 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 little just pleasant actually the taste i like it it's, it might be more of an adult taste if you put it that way it's not that fruity fresh feeling you often get from candy it's more like mature taste earthy yeah have to describe it i don't know but like more umami 
I'm gonna see if this is disgusting if I can show it to you, but... Ah! Here is an interesting development! It's not... It's not sugar poking my mouth, it's actually part of... Bean? Probably then, not nut. But, oh! I can relate to the flavor now. It feels like hard caramels with nuts in them. Uh, like uh, Kneck or... Um, is it Swedish thing? I don't know what it's called, but caramel, hard caramel candy with nuts in them. I think they are frequent in many cultures, so maybe you know what I'm talking about. I know, I think in the olden days you could get them on a stick, like a cone thing. Really olden days, like, like the past century or something. But I like this. It's really good. I wonder if it's all soy, beans, or also nuts. I don't know. But soybeans are very similar to nuts, like peanuts. And they were obviously roasted, I can see. The only flaw with this one is it hurts my mouth. But maybe I'm a crybaby. I don't know. That was all I had to share with, share with you today. I have nothing else to eat now. Yeah, I have the leftovers. <laughs> I want to remind you to check out my old unboxings that I've posted so far. I have a lot of things here. And I can do combined uh, tastings like this. So if there is anything special you want me to do or taste, just leave, let me know. And I will be so happy to help you. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, a comment or anything. Just push me up to keep me motivating to do these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon again. And keep tuned for new videos coming when you least expect it.